right, Moore and I are going to do a little series on how to play your home courts. It's our opinion if you're a 30 handicap, you can save six strokes around with better golf course management. If you're 20, four strokes. 10 handicap, two strokes at least. Golf is four parts. Can you hit a golf ball? What's the short game like? How do you manage yourself? How do you manage the golf course? We're going to work on part three and four, managing yourself and managing the golf course. And we're going to go through all 36 holes here at Toscana, 18 south, 18 on the north. And we're going to tell you how to take advantage of your home course knowledge. Here. Right off the get-go, you find out about the architect here. He lures you into the wrong spot. That bunker on the right off the tee is jail. Now, longer hitters can go over the bunker. That's not a problem. But for the people that cannot go over the bunker, they can miss their drive 50 yards to the left. Literally 50 yards to the left. And when we get up there, we're going to see that the green opens up from there. Good architects lure you into the wrong place and disguise the correct route. So Mr. Nicholas, on the very first hole of the South Court, is playing with your mind, but you've got to win the game against Jack on this. We're going to drive down to the left rough, and you won't believe how easier, how much easier the shot is coming from the left rough where you don't ever have to mess with that bunker on the right. You hit in the bunker on the right, you might hit the lip coming out, and it comes back down in your footprint, you make eight or nine, and all you had to do is hit it 50 yards left, and your shot will be easier. Okay, Warren, I've almost driven it in the trees over here. What a terrible drive. I can't believe I hit it this far left, but wait a minute. Look at the green. It opens up from here. It's bigger. It's wider. There's more depth to it. Everything about it is easier from over here. You try hitting that shot from that bunker on the right as opposed to this one. This could be the easiest shot that you'll have a pro shot at Toscana on the south course. From 20 yards into the left rough on the very first hole, the green just opens wide open and welcomes you to Toscana. Okay, Warren on the second tier of the south course. Beautiful par four. Got some trouble off the tee, though. Yeah, we do have a couple little objects we want to uh, avoid. Those objects being really deep pot bunkers. The fairway bunker on the left-hand side is almost dead. The fairway bunkers on the right are the same but they're not very reachable from this tee. So I want you to look at the right hand side, avoid the trap on the left, aim at the traps on the right, and play up in that direction. If you can reach the bunkers on the right hand side, lay up. Hit a fairway wood off this tee so you can play for the second shot. In most cases, I think the people that can reach the bunkers on the right can probably carry the bunker on the left. So if you're a longer hitter, the best play is to go over the middle of the bunker on the left because you hit a speed slot. But I wouldn't try that line unless I can easily carry that left bunker. If you can't carry it, go okay, right. Hey, Warren, we've negotiated a nice drive. But, you know, this is one of the hardest greens at Toscana to hit in regulation. It's another one of those kind of par four, four and a half. So you got to figure out a way to get a putter to four and avoid making six. And planning your second shot might be the way to do that. Yeah, when I find myself in the second fairway here, I start playing the hole backwards. I look and see where the flag is located, and then I start thinking about which angle I want to play in. Left from here is another safe play. I, even in the left-hand rough or just left of this green leaves me a pretty basic chip up through the center of the green. I've got lots of angles to play with if I stay left. If I go right of the center of the green, I'm faced with that very deep pot bunker that's up next to the green and I want no part of that. I want to stay at the left edge of this green or slightly left of it, possibly chip it up there close, make my four or five and get out of here with a good score. I've seen a lot of good shots go right at the middle of the green and they come up a yard short and they run down that hill into that collection area down there where all the divots are. And I've seen a lot of people chip it up the hill, come down the hill, chip it up the hill, come down the hill. They end up making a seven with a pretty good shot. So we're going to go up to the left side of the green and show the members here at Toscana how much easier that pitch is from darn near the cart path. All right, Warren, you've hit it a little too far left. You're on the cart path, which is probably 30 yards left of the green. In all the years I've played here with the members, I've never seen anybody miss it this far left on this hole. But look at the shot that we have coming in. Yeah, the 
left of this green is definitely the easiest place to play from. Right and short right where that bunker is, is no man's zone. We do not want to be anywhere near there. From here, we can get our drop, hit, chip the ball up to the front edge of the green and let it scamper on up to the middle or the back portion of this green. Left and short of this green is the place to play from on this hole. Well, as the members here will find out, and we've alluded to it very early on in the first two holes, Toscana is a golf course that requires the proper angles. But to do that, you have to pay attention a little bit. It is your home course. You should know this stuff by now. But if you don't, keep looking at these little videos because we're going to remind you on every hole.